concerned about the jab. He's concerned about the. That's what he did win the fight. Left. Good jab by Hopkins there. And again. And Pavlik's opportunities to find Hopkins have been few and far between. And Pavlik's legs are stiffened by a Hopkins uppercut. And fight, and he comes forward looking for more. This is what I said. Right on again. Here you see Bernard land a left hook where he basically he made the body motion as if he was going to throw a jab and landed a great left hook right up in the high area of the head and comes back with a left punch right up between the gloves. That's the punch I think that did damage to Kelly's right eye. But if you look at, at, at Kelly's strongest virtues. Good left hook up between the gloves by Hopkins. Rips Pavlik with his left hook again. Right hand by footwork movement. Third and a 27 burn on Hopkins. I think it's amazing. I gotta tell you. Do that for 12. At age 43. And now Hopkins. Moves left. What happens in this last half minute could determine the left hook by Bernard. Fight. Here you see Bernard doing which is one of his favorite things. Landing those clean little shots as the guy's coming in, even though it's gone. Pavlik hasn't even landed a solid body shot. Good right hand. That he's unable to mount the offense he wants. Again, guys, now into the fifth round. You would think to yourself, there's no way that Hopkins is the guy who lost twice to Jermaine. But it's, uh, he's putting boxing, boxing skills in here, and this is something that Kelly is not that good with boxing. Harassing the 26-year-old fighter. And the crowd is chanting, B-Hop, B-Hop. The difference right there. And so Hopkins has gone over nine rounds, 24. Very agile, he's very flexible, doesn't have the power, but much more difficult to time, much better speed. Well, Kelly is a little... Than he did in 12 rounds against Joe. Yep, and I haven't saw him get hit with a solid... Six to nothing, Hopkins. I have a 5-1, I gave the last round to Pablo. Well, by CompuBox numbers, he didn't yeah. do it. Hopkins steps in and rips him with the left hook. Team like mentally, he's getting recharged now. He still has the faster hands. Yep. He still dominates the center of the ring. He's still ripping Pavlik in combination and putting him on the defensive. Wow. Here you see Bernard just having fun now. A little short right hand leads. Doing things I've never seen because normally he was always a single. Man. What a show by Hopkins and another good left hook. And a straight right hand. Prediction. Now, he has to worry about his last few rounds that he doesn't even possibly get knocked out himself. So just for good measure, as if it isn't enough for Hopkins to have won every round, now he gets an extra point on the scorecard. If Bernard Hopkins could continue to throw more punches. You're right, Larry. And, you know, it, 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 Kelly still has pretty fair punching power, and you never know what can happen as the fight goes on. But right now, Miranda, and the two wins over Jermaine Taylor, and the huge knockout over Gary. We're just discovering what his yes. weakness is, and he's in with a fighter who knows how. That's all there is to it. Then he goes and he takes a point from Hopkins for holding, and he never wants Hopkins. And he gets to score a win by which, or for which he was favored in best. See, he's fought a clean fight in every, and he couldn't pull it off. This is a damaging blow to the image of the younger generation. Havlick gets ripped by a right hand, staggered in the center of the ring. Question is, can Pavlik make it to the finish line? Thunderball, youth, everything. Unbelievable. Look at the difference in hand Look speed. Up. Right now, that's that's a pretty good investment strategy. You say, what would it like to hear someone say to Ben on knocks on out in the first round? He said, I don't do things like that. He said, I, I fight safety. I take my time. Kramer Bernard, the executioner.